We drilled a mother hole. And then from there, we, we splayed off and we drilled these daughter holes. So what's great about that is we're understanding what's happening, you know, we're, you know in, in different directions. How big is the system? How much tonnage are we going to build up? But from a cost-saving standpoint, instead of drilling four independent holes, we're able to save hundreds of meters drilling. We're saving $1.6 million through this method. And it's innovative, it's cost-effective. That's a savings that goes directly into the shareholder's pocket. Uh, it's gonna enable us to do more drilling if we choose to, and I think we will. The Financial Survival Network. Now more than ever. The Financial Survival Network. And welcome. This is Financial Survival Network. I'm your host, Kerry Lutz. We're bringing you a major sponsor update from Sean Kuhn Kuhn, CEO of Dolly Varden Silver. Sean, I uh, just released latest drill results yesterday. And uh, hey, the hits keep coming. The hits keep coming. Um, the Financial Survival Network. I love that. Um, you know, and this is where, listen, what we're finding in the ground is what's going to get me through um, what's happening on Main Street uh, and on Wall Street and finding more silver and gold. Kerry, I don't know of many companies that are out there that are growing silver deposits. Like silver is rare. Um, you know, it's very, very rare to have a primary silver mine. I talked to a lot of industry experts about, you know, who are who are the companies that are finding more of this stuff? And there's really only two companies globally that are doing it. And Dolly Varden is one of them. And the difference between, uh, you know, Dolly and the other one is they're in Mexico and we're in Canada. And Mexico's getting a big difference. So, so look, we've got a big resource. We've got over 64 million ounces of silver. We've got a million ounces of gold. We probably added a lot more to that. That number's probably understated, uh, but that's the last third-party independent resource estimate we did. Um, yesterday's news, what we did is we stepped out 40 meters. So you got to like, conceptualize this in your, in your mind here. So 120 feet away from the known deposit, we extended it. And if you think about the tonnage, you think about the number of ounces, um, you know, what we drilled was 9.3 meters, so almost 30 feet of one kilo average, one kilo average. I got the core in my hand right here. Uh, oh, this is a pretty drill. sight, really and, nice. um, visible you know, silver there. There's native silver in there. Um, you know, this is, uh, and what we're finding, what's, what's crazy, like I just talk about the silver, the 1,091 grams per, per ton of silver over 9.3 meters, but there's a lot of base metal in there too. And that's something that historically at Dolly Varden, it was just all silver. But as we go incrementally deeper, uh, we're finding a lot of base metal. Now, on our website, um, if you go to our website, dollyvardensilver.com, and you click on the news release, there's a bunch of images that'll pop up. Um, on the second image, um, what I want any of your audience to look at is where we're finding this stuff, you know, where we're finding this stuff is wedged in between sediments and volcanics. And it's within that contact. Like, so the volcanics, like a sponge, have absorbed the silver, right? And and the predictability for us is we just follow that contact. We just follow where that, because the sediments have not brought in the silver. They've gone into the volcanics. So we stay tight right into that contact and just keep following this thing. So it's pretty predictable. It's it's super rich. It's really wide and uh, it's rare. So look, we've, and then the other thing that was really unique that we did this year is we drilled, we used this method called directional drilling. So we drilled a, mo a mother hole, right? We drilled a mother hole. And then from there, we, we splayed off and we drilled these daughter holes. So what's great about that is we're understanding what's happening, you know, we're, you know, in, in different directions, how big is the system, how much tonnage are we going to build up? But from a cost-saving standpoint, instead of drilling four independent holes, 
We're able to save hundreds of meters drilling. It's actually on the drill program, the 25,000 meter drill program, we're saving $1.6 million through this method. And it's innovative, it's cost effective. That's a savings that goes directly into the shareholder's pocket. Uh, It's going to enable us to do more drilling if we choose to, and I think we will. Um, I've got results pending from those daughter holes. Uh, We've got results that are imminent. I've got three rigs that are turning on site. So this is a company that um, it was trading at about close to a dollar a share US and it's pulled back 30% with silver going from $32 down to 26. Silver's on the rise again. Uh, So is Dolly Varden. We're finding more. And um, so look, with gold over $2,500 an ounce on the December futures, you know, and a nine to one silver to gold ratio. I think this is the time to pile into silver. Couldn't agree more. Hey, so, getting back to the directional drilling, so it's really kind of like horizontal drilling when you're talking about drilling for oil. So you get this pod, and you can drill multiple multiple holes from it. So you get way more bang for your buck. Plus, it's also quite a bit faster too, as well, isn't it? A hundred percent. And it, so you're saving money. It's also, uh, from my understanding from the team, it's more precise because you run the risk. If you start drilling a long hole, you run the risk of that hole somewhere deviating and you know moving into a place you don't want it to. Um, by cutting out that first bit of drilling, you're it's got a more it's got more precision. You're gonna get to your target. And on a system where you've got you know, breccias and epithermals and multiple structures to really capture all that. And it's why I don't think it's a coincidence that we're seeing the grade double, right? We're seeing the grade double, we're seeing incredible widths, and we're using directional drilling. So I just think it's been a it's been a game changer for us. And this is where, you know, this innovation um, has led to, you know, a, you know, better, you know, better results to our bottom line on multiple uh, elements. And, and you're one of the only companies using this technique now, correct? It's not become widespread yet? Listen, in, in the like, I, I know some of the, the majors, um, you know, uh, like tech and others, uh, you know, use this stuff. And it's, um, you know, I don't know how many juniors are uh, are taking, you know, taking advantage of this. Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard it being widespread yet, but obviously it's one of those things like geophys that's going to really shake up the industry. I think so. I think for us, it's a game changer, um, and uh, particularly um, on this particular vein. Yeah. So we're 40 feet out, so we're going to do some uh, step-in drilling there, I assume. Is that uh, in the... 100%. And uh, look, I think um, we've got more results that are imminent. Like the lab's been, you know, you know, you get, you get these notifications and, you know, my experience has taught me that it wouldn't surprise me that in another couple of days, if we're, you know, we got another batch of results for the market. Hey, well, this really, uh, think about it, you know, drill results have become ho-hum, don't have any effect on the market or a minimal immediate effect down the road, obviously will. But here we got something that's really exciting, new and different, and the market has just not figured this out yet. You're right. Now, um, like I said, we were off 30% from our recent high with the price of silver coming down. Uh, The market did recognize these results yesterday. We went up 10%. Now, there was a couple of factors that happened yesterday. We had a major takeover in the space. Um, Osisco had 50% of a project uh, and it was acquired for $2.1 billion in cash. So, you know, the implied value of the total project being $4.2 billion based on that acquisition. So that money was rolling into other names. Um, one of the names just to the north of us, the SK Creek project that's owned by Skeena Resources, um, went from $7.50 to almost uh, you know, nine and change. It was up uh, almost two dollars a share yesterday, and so I think Skeena was one of the direct benefactors of Osisco being taken over. Uh, so was Dolly Varden going up 
on the back of our news, on the back of record high gold prices, and on the back of the Cisco takeover. Yeah, so we had talked about this last time. We talked about two major things, the directional drilling and the M&A activity, and you pretty much uh, called them both. You know, we have also seen a really big takeover with uh, with Philo, a monster takeover. Um, you know, so, you know, M&A is, is happening at a very, very large scale uh, in terms of, you know, these are deals that are measured in the billions of dollars for an industry that when a deal launches, it launches at a $10 million market cap. So to get acquired in the billions, it is saying something. There's a lot of wealth and value creation. Uh, if you were a Cisco shareholder on Friday's close, you got over a 60% premium. You know, that's you know, and Dolly Varden is a takeover candidate. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if we woke up one morning and there was a 35, 40% premium on the table, somebody wanting to acquire this project. So that's that's the opportunity in addition to, you know, if you had inflation adjusted silver, you'd have $73 silver. We don't need it. You know, uh, our, one of our large shareholders, uh, Hecla, who's the world's uh, fastest growing established silver miner, on their last quarter, they were selling silver at $29 an ounce, and it cost them $12 to produce an ounce. So the margins in this business are incredible today, and uh, companies like Hecla have, have record amounts of cash. Terry, what are they going to do with this cash? What are they going to do? They're, gonna, they're depleting their inventory, and so we're getting into a market where you know, I believe the future bank stocks of our world are the gold and silver miners, you know, and um, we're we're at a moment right now where those bank stocks are getting more profitable, and they need to replenish their uh, their mineral inventory, and that's where companies like Dolly Varden, like Osisco, like Philo um, come into play. And actually, uh, just on that note with Philo, um, it was last year that Haywood Securities came out with their you know top ideas for 2023. Philo was number one. Dolly Varden was number two. Uh, Haywood has a two dollar and forty cent target on their share price. They came out with a very positive comment, and so I don't know. I think we've got we're in the right place at the right time. Um, but we'll let the drill results speak for themselves, and uh, we will be reporting results imminently. Hey, not to mention the majors' prices have started to move, and. Uh, Presumably, that increases their uh, their currency to make these acquisitions that are imminent. Hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, Newmont just reported four hundred and sixty million in earnings in Q two, uh, putting out a twenty five cent per share dividend. Uh, so record high dividends, record high earnings. You know, two billion in cash will go into their coffers that they didn't have in the past. What are they going to do with that two billion dollars? Yeah, well, not to mention their other, uh, uh, basically, other assets are selling off. They're going to have even more cash. And again, they've got to reinvest because, as we spoke of in the past, uh, reserves, resources heading down. And speaking of Newmont, they are committed to the Golden Triangle. You know, where the home of the Dolly Barton Silver Project is, Newmont is operating two mines, Bruce Jack and Red Chris. So these majors, when they get into a camp, they don't get in for a, a year. You know, they're looking for long, you know, long mine life, you know, long reserve life with prospectivity, exploration, potential district scale opportunities. And, uh, you know, that's what we have in the Golden Triangle. Hey, so all those factors put together makes uh, Dolly Varden, uh, you know, definitely compelling uh, choice. I own shares in it, in full disclosure. Uh, for the reasons you've outlined, and it, it's uh, it's definitely exciting times out here, Sean, and uh, we're going to be uh, following it closely. As always, uh, you want to go over to dollyvardensilver.com, sign up for the notifications, you'll find out about the latest drill results, the ticker symbols on uh, in the U.S., D-O-L-L-F, and of course in Canada, D-V., Sean, thanks for stopping by, giving us an update. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for having me, Kerry. Talk to you soon.
the Financial Survival Network.